To efficiently build a solid monolithic T-wall, the T-wall tie-in courses must be started as the main wall is built. Begin by checking where the edges of the T-wall core will fall on the wall behind it. Be sure that one of the edges will not fall directly on a web. If it does, adjust the position of the T-wall slightly from side to side. With block position for the T-wall, mark where the core of the T-wall meets the block on the form behind it. Cut out the mark section of the back wall's block and reset it into place. Reset the block for the T-wall. Again, EcoBlock's 90-degree corner connector can be used to replace time-consuming inside corner lumber bracing. If there is an available web on the back wall, use Texas tees and zip ties to attach the web of the back wall block to the connectors on the T-wall block. Make the ties snug, but do not place more strain than necessary on the connectors. If the T-wall falls between webs, zip tie around the corner to the nearest connectors. If the cut falls within four inches of the webs on both the T-wall and the back wall, no corner connector is required. By utilizing the 90-degree corner connector with these zip tie techniques, no additional bracing or banding is required. When placing rebar, remember to alternate the direction of the corner pieces tying into the main wall as you add courses. If the rebar points left on one course, it should point right on the next. 